Hey, it's Jason over at Elliott. Welcome to our fine facility. Um, today we're going to go over a few things uh, that might help you guys with a lot of our new products. Uh, main one being the new Liat uh, GPX line of braces. Um, I'm going to go through in pretty good detail on how to fit it, um, all the parts and the, uh, the pieces that can make it fit better to your body. When you do get into it, um, it's a lot simpler. We've made it a little bit easier with the parts and pieces, but it just slides right out. And you basically have four main pieces. You got the back of the brace, the front of the brace, and a bag here with uh, all your sizing parts and the pieces that make it fit more to your body. Everything that I'm going over with you guys right now um, is in the manual itself. First thing you guys are going to want to do is take a look at everything in this bag. Basically, you're going to have a couple different sets of sizing pins that will be zip tied together like this. One's going to be a larger set and one's going to be a smaller set. The smaller set's is what we call a zero millimeter sizing pin and the larger set's a 20 millimeter sizing pin. On these two sides here is actually a 10 millimeter. So the first thing I always do is I'll put the brace together first with what's currently in there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bolt out, the set screw, so that we can get these rear thoracic piece in here. So using your provided Allen wrenches right here, for those of you who can see this, there's a screw right here that you use the Allen wrench on. On the inside, of, on the inside of the back of the brace, and you simply unscrew that. And what you're left with is you're left with one shim in here that's floating. It's not going to come out; it just floats in there, and that's part of the sizing process. You'll notice that we've got several different shims. These are used to take the place here when you put the rear thoracic in. You can split these shims and you can change the angle of the brace. And you achieve the different angles that we just discussed by placing the thoracic between the two. I'm going to go ahead and put it just in the standard 5 degree position, which is the piece together and, the, and this piece on either side, and slide it up inside the brace. Once you get it in the brace, you can put this back in. Once you guys have put the back piece, the back thoracic back in, uh, what you see here is I've applied um, all the back padding to it as well. Um, and that gives you kind of a base for fitment. Once we get the brace uh, put together and set up, you can check for um, fitment uh, by placing it on the body. Um, we'll go ahead and check this right now. You guys can see here from the side, you can hinge it at one side so you don't have to pull it off on both hinges. And then just once you get it on, just lock it tight. What I like to do when we're fitting people is um, normally your, the fitment is from front to back. So what I like to do is slide my, be able to slide my fingers in here um, and have just a little bit of pressure, just a tiny bit of pressure. Right now this brace is a little bit tight. What happens with the brace is too tight is you get a lot of people that complain that it hits the bottom of the helmet and that's because when it is tight and you're moving on the bike and stuff like that, the only place for it to go is up. So when he moves around, this brace is going to want to go up because it is tight and his body's going to be pushing out on both sides of these pushing this up. So gave us a good little idea of where of what his fitment's going to be. We want to widen the brace a little bit. So we'll take it off. And we'll come back to our lead sizing parts. And you notice we have all these pieces and we'll go to the sizing pins themselves. And as I stated earlier, uh, this comes with zero sizing pins. Um, the tens that are in here, the ten millimeters, and what we're going to go ahead and do is put the 20 millimeter sizing pins. 
And then what's going to happen is it's going to open this gap a little bit. It's going to widen this piece, essentially widening the whole brace. So you're going to make the overall diameter of this brace uh, larger to, com to accommodate a bigger person. You're going to take the padding off to reveal the two Allen keys. So you've got uh, an Allen head bolt here and an Allen head bolt here. Um, and you'll have them on both sides as well. So we'll have one here, one here, and it's a it's a top and bottom. So we do have two, but it's just these two pieces that you're going to take out, and this whole sizing pin is going to slide out, and you'll be able to change it. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Once you undo the uh, the Allen screws, uh, you're just going to pop those out, and once you get those popped out, you'll see that that these pieces slide out of there on both sides, just like that and you can replace them then with the sizing pin that uh, best accommodates your body size and you'll slide them right into the slot just like that and you'll go ahead and reapply the allen bolts that you had just taken out okay so what i've done is i've if I, is i've changed the sizing pins out to the 20 millimeters provided sizing pins we're going to go ahead and try that right now and see how that fits so once again, it's hinged on one side, lock it from the other, um, and it's close, it's really close, um, front to back, but I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to change the angle of this back piece a little bit to, to help match the curvature of his back a little bit better, and also give me that, that pressure here that I want. It's still a little bit tight, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use the provided shims, and I'm going to angle this back piece out just a little bit. So it's currently at a five degree angle, so we might go to a zero or a negative five, which would bring that back piece out. And you're going to use the provided um, Allen key once again. And go ahead and take that out. Push the piece out and the thoracic will slide out like that. Now again, check your manual, but you have two different shims here. One will get you more of an angle than the other, so one will go to 15 degrees, or one will go to negative five degrees, depending on how you put it in. To get the proper fitment on this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna angle it out, and I wanna angle it out five degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this thoracic, like this. And if you can see it from there, you can see that this piece is now angled slightly out this way. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. And once we get that lined up, we can put it back together and we'll have achieved that different angle um, which should hopefully match the curvature of, the, of his back a little bit better. Okay, so as our final adjustment, as we kind of move through the fitment of this particular brace, uh, what we've done now um, is we added the 20 millimeter pins, which is the largest pin um, available in the bag. And what I did on this final one was I changed the angle of uh, this back thoracic piece. So we'll go ahead now and put this on and see how this fits a little bit better. And now you can kind of see that it, it does match a little bit better the curvature of his back. I've angled it out. Um, and I like the fitment from front to back. I can slide my fingers in here. Um, there's a little bit of pressure, um, but it's not too tight. So I would call this a, uh, a good fitment.